Hello. Hello and welcome to the Workflow Academy. In this comprehensive Platform Academy video series, we'll dive into the transformative world of workflow automation, empowering you to build, monitor, and optimize efficient workflows with ease. My name is Lisa Hohenstein, and I work as an Outbound Product Manager for the Now Platform. My area of expertise is workflow automation, and I create enablement content videos, articles, and blogs on the Now community. In this Workflow Academy Shorts mini-series, we will walk you through these three paths to make playbooks available to your agents and end users. Next Experience Pages, Mobile App, and the Service Portal. Today, I will walk you through the steps to embed a playbook in the ServiceNow mobile app. Our field service management product is taking the lead on mobile playbooks. The controller introduced in the Vancouver release can also be used for your custom use cases. Note that offline support is currently not included, but we'll have to add this in a future release. And with this, let's dive right into things. First, let's navigate to UI Builder. Here, we've created a new experience called Playbook Experience Mobile. The default page is set to read only. Duplicate the variant to make it editable. Now we can open this in the editor and look at the preview from the URL. This preview page is already set up the way it will show up in the mobile app later. The URL for this experience includes the table, in this case interaction, sysid, and optional parameters, mapping to the global playbook experience. Copy the URL except for the instance path. Now, as a mobile app admin, you might add various functions to the mobile controller. For this demo, we can just use a simple web screen for mobile. We will set up the URL, ensuring it is a relative path and save the changes. Switching to the mobile preview, you can navigate to the playbook as defined by the mobile app admins. As the agent progresses, they will mark activities complete, moving through the playbook seamlessly. For example, after reading a KB article, they can proceed to the next task, fill out forms, and scroll through lists, completing each step efficiently. Now let's quickly return to the admin view. We will create a new activity action called Leave Playbook. This client action allows users to exit the playbook easily. We will save and map this action to the playbook experience, ensuring it appears in the app. Back in the mobile app, after refreshing, the new Leave Playbook action is available. By clicking it, the user exits the playbook. Let's quickly review the steps taken. First, we can check out the Playbook Experience Mobile. First, we can check out the Playbook Experience Mobile experience in UI Builder. The default page variant is read-only, and to edit it, you will have to duplicate the variant. Then you can preview the experience to get the URL to use in the mobile app builder. Work with your mobile app admins or developers, which would be the best way to navigate to the playbook. But for the sake of the demo, we used a simple mobile web screen. We then pasted the URL we copied in step one and saved it, without the instance path though, to make it a relative link to the screen settings. We then pasted the URL we copied in step one to the screen settings. We saved it without the instance path to make it a relative link. Lastly, you can confirm your work in the mobile app. Test walking through a playbook with test values. Same as with other embedded experiences, these features can be extended with custom action assignments. And that's it. If you liked this session, please upvote this video. And whether you liked it or not, this survey is your chance to provide feedback or comments about this academy. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. You can find the link in the video description or use the QR code shown on the screen. While on the topic of more content, if you prefer to read up on topics at your own pace, please check out the Workflow Automation Center of Excellence on the community. I've collected resources and links, and I'm regularly publishing new articles with best practices, FAQ, and guidance around flows, playbooks, and decision tables. Thank you for choosing to spend some time today to learn about workflow automation on the Now platform. Thank you for providing your feedback and questions to help us make these sessions better for you. Until next time, bye.